we find in the seventh chapter of Matthew some very interesting words of Jesus Christ which give us some insight to what the genuine Christian faith really produces in people. I think so many times we Americans think genuine Christianity is very refined and very polished and very big and has a lot of opportunities and uh, is very well noted amongst the culture and the society and that's really not it. It's really kind of a false image of Christianity and we see people you know in flash and cash shall I say and we think that's genuine and we think that's real and it isn't always. We pick up and see what Jesus says about it in chapter 7 verse 17. Even so every good tree bears good fruit but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit nor can a bad tree produce good fruit. Now that's interesting because he says it's impossible for either one of those two types of trees to be an opposite. In other words, in their product cannot be opposite of what they are. If it's a genuine Christian, it will produce genuine Christianity. If it's a false Christianity, it may look like it on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. And what it produces is rotten on the inside. It can't produce genuine Christianity. Verse 19, every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Notice the word every there. Verse 20, so then you will know them by their fruits. Not by what they look like. Not by how they stand. Not by how glorious or how disingenuous they may look. But by the fruit that they produce. Okay. Verse 21, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? The word prophesy there is the word preach. Did we not preach in your name? And in your name cast out demons, and in your name perform many miracles. And then I will declare to them, Jesus says, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. And he quotes actually Psalm 6, 8 there. And so Jesus brings the picture into it like this. It may look real. It may have the frontal image of Christianity on it, but behind it, it's rotten. And we see this so much as we have been watching over the last 10 years or so here in North America. Large congregations, congregations that are notably out front of others in their programmatic ministries, in their, quote, biblical teaching, and I say that not to be condemning, but to say it has to be scrutinized by the Word of God, not by what we think feels good to us. And so all of these things that look like Christianity are not. So I know the question comes up, well, how do you know what's genuine and what isn't? And Jesus has already told us earlier in this text. He says, by their fruit, by their product. And their product isn't books and DVDs and television programs. That's not the product. That's what we mistake for the product. It's not a fancy building. It's not a lot of people. It's not money. The fruit is the type of Christians that walk out that door on Sunday morning. The fruit is the type of Christians who interact with their community and are a part of those people who say, well, didn't we preach in your name? Didn't we cast out demons? We have to ask that. What are those people? And so we look at that and we see generally, this is not a blanket coverage statement, but we see generally people who play church on Sunday. We see people who think because they attend or they go or they listen to so and so and they think well they got a pretty good deal going here and my kids are happy here and and I like the music and all of that that has really nothing to do with it. What is the fruit of their lives? And the fruit of their lives is not just people who sit around and read the Bible once a week or pray as a family over their meals that's all good. Nothing wrong with that. The fruit is how they share their faith, 
how they live it out in their actions, reactions, words, and most of all, how they love each other because that's what Jesus tells us, that we are known by how we love each other. People know us that way. And that is a godly love. That is a sacrificial love. That is an unmeasurable love. And that is what we can be if we're willing to be genuine Christians.